Oh, how y'all doing? So, been getting a whole whole bunch of comments here lately. That's cool. A lot of people are making fun of me because of this thing. I just got not so bad, you know, not so good paint and body work and stuff. And it don't look real pretty. And it's got a big hole in the hood. And it's got cat footprints on it. And had a complete debacle at the no prep race over in Lyons because it was, you know, I had two weeks between test and tune and the race to swap a cam, a carb, a rear axle, <laughs> and uh, <coughs> do just all kinds of stuff. And, you know, you know I, I, I just got it done and went and tested it at the track, and yeah, it didn't do so great because it was being tested. <laughs> Seems like every time I go to the daggone racetrack, I'm testing stuff because I'm always changing stuff. And but yeah, so people can make fun of me all you want, and you know, say, "Well, you need to hire a good mechanic or do whatever." But you know, I ain't gonna hire anybody. I build my own engines. I built that engine. I built the engines in the other truck. I've built many engines. <laughs> I'm quite good at what I do, and I've been doing it a long daggone time. So no, I'm not gonna hire a mechanic. You know to screw up something that I've worked hard to build because 90% 90, 90 of the mechanics I know I wouldn't let them touch this thing with a wrench on a stick you know 20 feet away like you ain't no you're not even changing the spark plugs in this thing bub no I don't trust anybody to do the only thing I've ever had anybody ever do for me any type of mechanic situation is balancing tires or mounting tires or patching tires even though I have a tire machine I balance you know I can mount tires I can patch tires I can do whatever I got the patch kits I got all the stuff I need to do it you know but I can't balance a tire in here so yeah there is certain things that I'll take to a shop mainly tires <laughs> Or if I need to do an alignment. But even this thing, I align this myself. I align the work truck myself. I align that white truck myself. They all drive pretty doggone good, except for the work truck. And it's just, everything's all wore out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Y'all can make fun of me however much you want. I, I don't really care because, you know, when it all comes down to it, if you sitting in the passenger seat, you crap your pants if you rode in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't care. It's this thing is stupid. It's got way too much power. You can go down the highway, and yeah, I've, it's all wet and dirty. I, I've already drove it. <laughs> you can go down the highway and just hit the gas pedal and blow the tires off this thing. Just roast them back tires. And it ain't like I got pizza cutters on there. Them are pretty wide, you know. I don't know it's that's the problem I've always kind of had with this thing is it don't hook up like especially at the no prep race holy crap I was spinning all the way down the track and then it would spin and then it would grab and then it would kill the transmission <laughs> hoping that don't happen this year I'm just if it spins I'm just gonna stay in it I mean It's either going to go down the track or it's going to be a cool show for people to watch <laughs> and it's going to be fun and I'm going to need new tires afterwards. If it don't go down the track like I want it to, I'm going to do a burnout all the way down the track. I don't care. It's this truck. It's make it or break it time. Oh, and speaking of uh, things not doing so well and like, you know, remember how hard it's been to start? That fuel's been in there since the no prep race. <laughs> you know, that's pretty old fuel. I put fresh fuel in it today and I said if let's start here. Yeah, I think that was the problem. There's old stale fuel. So yeah, no nah, man, you know for those of you that's telling me to get somebody that knows what they're doing or get somebody with a timing light or get somebody that 
No, nah, I, mean, I got all that stuff. I don't need anybody's help with this engine. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's funny how people make fun of stuff that they know nothing about and they've never seen in person and ridden in. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a piece of crap. It's dirty on the inside from, you know, being in and out of it and stuff, you know. Just being gutted and ripped out. There's window tent halfway on the window and halfway not and the windshield's cracked and you know there's a giant hole where somebody took a chainsaw I don't know what they did that with but that is the worst cut I've ever seen in my life I need to get a hammer and dolly and try to straighten this out and weld that all back up or do what they did put a bed liner in it <laughs> I took the bed liner out I was like holy cow it's gonna be easy to get to that fuel pump so there's y'all quick update video uh, this thing is shifting like a champ. Uh, the lockup converter is in full manual mode. First gear, second gear, it's open converter. Third gear, as soon as it shifts into third, boom, the lockup converter comes in. I mean, it's doing everything like it's supposed to. It's shifting good. It feels strong. It's running way better since I put actual fuel in it instead of, uh, you know, like really old stale fuel. That fuel's got to be like six months old. Cause it was, I had 22 gallon in it and went to the no prep race, ran and drove home and then put some more in it on the way home cause I was getting low and, <laughs> and it's just sat with that fuel in it for a long time. So that was mostly part of the problem cause it runs great now. But yeah, I don't know. It's like I, I've had all these positive comments for the past few days and then today I've had nothing but negative comments. It's kind of funny how that works, which I mean, my dislikes are up like 400%. So I mean, I figured I was going to eventually get some negative comments. What ended up happening was, so I've had comments deleted on all my videos, except for like the recent 30 or 40 videos. I have 948 videos or something like that. And uh, so... It got to where I've been having comments on my recent videos, people wanting, you know, ask me questions and stuff about the older videos, so I just said heck with it and enabled all the comments on every single video. That was a mistake. Now I'm having like a bunch of haters again that's seeing old videos of this thing, seeing it suck. I mean, it didn't really suck, it just had tuning issues because I literally had two weeks to throw this thing together. I went to the test and tune, didn't like the axle, didn't like the cam, didn't like a whole bunch of different stuff, so I switched up the carburetor setup, changed the camshaft, put a 410 rear end in it, I, I did a whole bunch of different stuff to it, and then I went back to the racetrack two weeks later, and uh, I sucked again because it's the carburetor was running too lean, and I didn't like the camshaft I put in it at all. It was supposed to be a blower turbo camshaft that works well with the blower and I talked to a guy from comp cam oh this is what you need buddy that da, 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 da. no 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 it, it it didn't like it at all and I don't know I put another camshaft in it and it woke right back up and since that you know after that race I've put another cam in it went through the carburetor again a different transmission a stall converter <laughs> uh, oh boy just all kinds of stuff I've, so this thing should be an animal I'm hoping I don't know it felt pretty strong today when I drove it to the gas station and back and took it you know down the road and back just to kind of test it. <laughs> it I haven't had a chance to really open it up there's nowhere around here you can open this thing up and let it fly I mean it just you can't there's too many people too many kids too many cops too many things you can run into if something goes wrong. You know, I don't risk it. I, I got like a couple choice roads that I go test this thing on and uh, none of them were available today. And some of them were part of the way wet. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. Now I gotta clean it because it's really, really dirty from sitting in the shop. Like really, really, really dirty. So that bugs me. So yep. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.